Biden has signed a series of executive actions aimed at combating climate change, heightening the federal government's focus on the issue which took a backseat under former President Donald Trump's administration. Biden says his actions will supercharge his administration's ambitious plan to confront the existing threat of climate change. Good morning, I'm Sarah Sapsanama and these are the headlines of the hour. The vaccination program against COVID-19 kicks off across the country. Premier Oli says coronavirus vaccines should not be made a matter of profit and business. The Election Commission prepares to call party registration without finalizing disputes within the Nepal Communist Party. Modus operandi of the Premier fails to create conducive electoral environment. U.S. President Joe Biden signs executive actions to combat climate change, including pausing new oil and gas leases on federal land and cutting fossil fuel subsidies. And Manchester United suffer a shocking 2-1 defeat against Sheffield United in the English Premier League. Chelsea and Wolves settle for a goalless draw. Vaccination program against COVID-19 kicked off across the country. The program began by vaccinating listed forefront workers from 17 different places in the federal capital, 62 hospitals and over 120 vaccination centers across the country. Prime Minister KP Sharma Oli inaugurated the program virtually yesterday. As per the Department of Health Services, 12 hospitals in Kathmandu, 3 in Lalitpur and 2 in Bhaktapur have vaccination centers. 62 hospitals and over 120 centers will vaccinate forefront health workers, security personnel, among others. One million units of Covishield vaccines were brought to Nepal under the Indian Assistance Program last Thursday. Under the first round of the vaccination program, 430,000 individuals will be vaccinated within 10 days. Meanwhile, Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli has said that vaccine against coronavirus should not be made a matter of profit and business. While inaugurating the coronavirus vaccination program, Premier Oli said the fight against coronavirus will be successful only if the vaccines are made available to everyone. Premier Oli also expressed his commitment to provide free vaccines to all Nepali citizens on a priority basis. Moving on, the Election Commission is preparing to call for party registration without finalizing the legitimacy of the divided Nepal Communist Party. If the party registration is called as soon as the election schedule prepared by the Commission is endorsed, the name, election symbol, flag and seal of the Nepal Communist Party would be suspended. Both the factions of the Nepal Communist Party are not likely to give up the current name and election symbol or reach a consensus with each other soon. However, the Election Commission is preparing to call for party registration to participate in the elections amid the ongoing dispute of the ruling party. At the moment, even if the Election Commission calls for party registration, it would be difficult for both the factions to be considered the official Nepal Communist Party that runs with the signatures of Chairman Dio K.P. Sharma Oli and Pushpa Kamal Dahal. Accordingly, the name and election symbol would remain intact if they agree to move ahead together for the elections, which is highly unlikely at the current scenario. Both the factions will have to register as a new party with a new name, new flag, new seal and new election symbol. Now, Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli announced midterm elections to be held later this year after dissolving the House of Representatives. However, according to political analysts, the recent activities and rhetoric of the Premier are more divisive among the public than holding the elections. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli, who has announced midterm elections for 30th of April and 10th of May, has been giving several controversial statements instead of focusing on creating a conducive political environment for the elections. The writ petitions against the dissolution of the lower house are still under consideration at the Supreme Court. Even as the Prime Minister and his Cabinet Ministers have been claiming of holding the elections on the stipulated dates, preparations and electoral activities seem to be a far cry. The government's activities are aimed at polarizing the society and escalating disputes instead of reconciling dissident parties and initiating dialogues with them. Even if the Supreme Court upholds the government's decision to dissolve the lower house, the political parties and the election commission do not seem to be prepared to hold the elections on the announced dates, while the government has not initiated any election-related activities either. The modus operandi of the prime minister, 
who has been exhibiting intolerance towards the dissenting factions, seems to be more of an obstacle to the political environment. Political experts opine, even if the constitutional disputes are settled, the Prime Minister's failure to play a coordinating role has raised questions whether the government is giving priority to polarization and instability in the country. In our Public Voice segment, we had asked players in Sinduli what should be done by the local levels to develop the sports sector. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Ground ball and ball. Football ground Ramro say na. This match is coach or go. Ramro coach or Ramro layer training day on ball. Khel ko chhetra maaz hai ki bahut hi chhutan pariyo. Khel ko to lagi yeh ground ko abasik dum. Ati abasik chhiz se ground ho. Maila kab matre gardi wani kosto hai na. Kya pani sochti na pariyo. Istaniy sarkar aur le. Maila ko lagi matre chhutai bahut chhutai din na pariyo. It's time now for our segment, Public Pulse, where you text us with your opinion. The question is, what's your take on the government announcement to provide free COVID-19 vaccines to everyone? Your options are A, commendable, B, popular slogan, and C, hard to believe. The voting is on, type N-E-W-S, select your option A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. That's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day ahead.